give up control of your own uh, creative process to a uh, dominant power. So like, you would need like to give up something in order to, uh, and usually that comes with either giving up your you know, your creative uh, intellectual property or giving up just the idea itself and like, you know, and it's, and it's getting paid off basically. Um, and I think that's the worst thing that we can do. You know, for me, like it's, it's more of an aspect of like figuring out how, what your idea of success is and trying to figure out how you can achieve that success on your own without having to get, you know, a bunch of uh, gatekeepers involved. Uh, because in the end, like, if you want control of your own, uh, your own career, you need that, uh, that ownership. <laughs> Not enough time in the day. Uh, trying to get things done, uh, the amount of things that you have to take on to try to make it so that you can actually become successful, uh, the, the amount of time that it takes to be able to do normal life activities along with trying to be an artist. Uh, my situation is a little bit more convoluted too with uh, trying to be a full-time teacher teaching ceramics and then trying to continue and actually making my work and trying to have enough time to be able to get my work completed along with my students work. For me, it's, I have part of my personality that really wants to know what the path is. I want to see all the bricks and I want to follow it directly because I'm also a science person and a scientist and I want to know, and I'm a math person, I want to know the answer. And not knowing, I've had to really um, learn to embrace that and accept it. Like, I don't know where the boat's going. Faith, I've got to trust that it's going in the right direction. And then. If I'm putting my true honesty into it, I have to believe it's gonna come out and feel good and be right and be good. You don't know, so it's, it's good. It's good for my personality to um, be tested, but sometimes I'm like, I don't wanna do it anymore, because where's this even going? And so then I give up and I can't stand it when I give up and I get back on it. That's my food. <laughs> producing, constantly producing. And that's been my issue currently because there's not, not that it's a bad thing. Not, I feel so awesome like that people want my work. It's incredible and I couldn't be more thankful. But to constantly just go, go, go and not reflect is so the opposite of me. And so in my current state, that is my struggle is constantly producing the best work that I possibly can. Because I know myself that sometimes if it's rushed, it's not gonna be the best work. And then I don't have time to reflect because I have to move on to the next project. So then it becomes the most like taxing on your mind because you don't really have time to redevelop and learn from what you just created. You just you have to go. Um, so that's been my my biggest struggle right now as an artist. So The worst thing honestly for me is the self-promotion. I come from a very kind of humble stance with my art. I don't, I'm not one who wants to be out there and pushing my art and look at me, I'm the greatest or anything like that. I'm very down to earth when it comes to that. And if people want to see the art or if they like the art, they'll find it and they will see it. Um, but honestly it is, it's making time for it to you know, what's going on with you and what shows are you doing, you know, um, what are you getting into, where, where's, your, where's your work going, you know. Those things to me are kind of tough to, to juggle as an artist.